To set up your PlayStation Network account, start by going to the Sony account creation site. I'll put a link to the site in the description. Once there, click Create. Select your country or region. Depending on your region, you will also need to select your state or province and language. Click Next. Enter your birthday and click Next. Enter your email. Note that your email can't be associated with another Sony or PlayStation account. Choose a strong password. Your password can't contain letters or numbers used more than three times in a row and must be at least six characters long. Once you've entered your email and password, click Next. Here you can select your personalized content preferences. This determines what products are recommended for you and what ads you see. You can change this at any time under the privacy settings in your account. Note that you will still receive product recommendations and see ads even with these settings disabled. After selecting your preferences, click Confirm. Select if you'd like to receive communications from PlayStation and how you'd like to receive them. This page also includes the terms of service and user agreement, the privacy policy, and the software product license agreement. Make sure to look these over, then click Agree and Create Account. At this stage, you should see a green message that says, the account was successfully created. Now, you need to verify your email. In a new tab, go to your inbox and look for the account registration confirmation email from PlayStation. Open the email and click Verify. This should open a new window with a green check mark. Once your account is verified, return to the original tab and click Already Verified. On this page, you can set up two-factor authentication. There are two options to choose from. You can get a code by text message, which requires entering your mobile number, or use an authenticator app and scan a QR code. You can also skip this step if you don't want to set up two-factor authentication at this time. You also have the option to enter a phone number for password recovery in case you ever forget your password. You can also skip this step. If you decide to use a phone number for password recovery, a code will be sent to your mobile number for verification. I set up password recovery and can confirm it works with a Google Voice number. You'll know your account has been created when you see this screen. To finish setting up your account, go to the PlayStation Network page. Click Sign In, then enter the email and password you used to set up the account. On this screen, hit Next. Choosing the Do This Later option will send you back to the login screen. On the next screen, fill out the required residential information and click Next. Choose an online ID and enter your first and last name. Your online ID will be seen in games, chat, and friend searches, so PlayStation recommends not using any part of your real name here. Your first and last name are used in communications from PlayStation and won't be seen by other players. Click Done after choosing your ID and entering your name. At this point, you'll be redirected to the main PlayStation Network page. Click Sign In again and you'll automatically be logged in. Click on the smiling avatar face in the upper right corner to access your account. One of the first things you should do is update your avatar. You can choose from a variety of categories, including classic PlayStation characters, kanji, and sports. I'm going with Astro from Astro's Playroom. From your profile, you can also update your account information, change your privacy settings, manage active subscriptions, and more. Your new PlayStation Network account is ready to go. For information on how to log into your console, check out the post on my blog, allaccessarcade.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Happy gaming!